Sleepy boy, take nap. Nappy boy. Kind of already revealed the change, didn't I? A little bit. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, he's just gonna... He's really just gonna look straight at it, isn't he? Huh. I didn't really plan that. That was cinematic. Yeah, so there's my little microscope, microscope, and there's that guy. I couldn't put the microscope on the shelf. It was annoying. I'd also try to put it on here, but it's really hard to jump and place it at the same time, and it kept- it ended up floating every other time. It was really- it's really frustrating. Hey! Oh, I really gave it away, too. <laughs> hey. I decided to move all this stuff indoors. Oh. I hadn't heard that before. It sounds like the bathroom is nearby, and like a laser penis is pissing in a urinal or something. That's a really weird sound. <laughs> I had not heard that sound before. Uh, not so clearly, I guess, maybe. So yeah, we got the, the Ming plant, Jaffa cup. I don't know if these have, serve a purpose at all, so I just kind of have one of each of them kind of here cosmetically. Then here's my Chinese potatoes, here's my bulbo trees, and here's my marble melons. It made sense to move it. It's also a really nice cinematic room. Like, it looks really cool in here because every single wall is a window. So I'm really happy with how that came out. Got some more pods sitting around waiting for more things to be found that can be planted. Although I don't know how many above water things there are that exist in the first place. But, you know, it's here as an option. I like it. Uh, but the main thing is to have bulbo trees because you need to eat and all that. It's freaky how they just look like they're, always, they're just leaking all the time. But yeah, they're all here now. So there we go. Uh, when I originally made the, uh, the, the farm I had before, it was because I didn't have... I was starting the farm for the first time. My whole goal was to make bulbo trees be by my base, because they were clearly useful for fulfilling both of the main resource meters at the same time. Which I was right about. But uh, during that ex excursion, we found the island. And during that trip to the island, I discovered exterior, uh, interior grow beds and these planters. So, the my plan that I set up in advance kind of became obsolete midway through the, the plan, as it turned out. And as fun as it was to weirdly, like, float around on my belly whenever I wanted to get stuff, it is nice to have a nice, clean, little farm zone. So now I've got this set up, and hopefully we'll see what I can add to it over time. I also might revisit the island at some point, just to collect some more samples to plant in these other planters, because there were definitely other plants around there. And there's the lantern fruit. And this, you kind of heard this already. But that, this is where I moved the filtration machine, which is just going at it, apparently. Mmm. Get it, get it. These kind of go in here. And these kind of go in here. I guess. No. And that's not, I'm not putting my salt there. Uh, let's sub these out. I'll grab the mega waters a little bit. When I'm on a trip, because I, I think I'm going to go on a trip soon. And I can use my my knife to make... Ugh. Hi. Aw. It's my favorite one. Now it's glitching out inside my house. Hey, Rabbit Ray. You're so cool looking. I like you. Anyway, enjoy your new found career of uh, flying, I guess? I'm gonna have way too much salt soon if that thing keeps running. Oh well. Got the power running, I got the damn uh, thermal vent thing connected correctly, so that's good. That's not broken at the moment. Got that going. That, that was, those were bubbles inside my house just now. Are those rendering cosmetically near you? Is that why that's happening? That was weird. Huh. But yeah, I, I double checked the entire line and made sure it's all connected. Also, logging out and logging back in a few times kind of leads to improvements here. And then I, I planted one of the lantern trees in here, because then I can just... It's, it's really nice, because I don't have to cut the lantern tree. So having one standalone plant works without me having to make, like, duplicate one so I can replant it. I don't have to replant this tree, because you pick the fruit instead of cutting the tree itself like you do with the bulbo tree. So it's pretty easy just to grab a handful of them and jam them in here, which they take up a lot of space. And then that'll keep the uh, bioreactor running whenever I come around here. Just pick like four of them and plop them in there and it, you know, really, really makes that bioreactor as easy as it's ever been. 
And yeah, I've gone back to it shooting directly into this, because having the thing attached to the base seemed to be causing issues, so I took that out. Uh, and it's just, it shoots directly into here because this is the closest point, I guess. I don't like that it's shooting into the wall, but I don't know, maybe if I had another one over here or something, it might connect from there to there to like there and beam directly into the scanner room and look a little cooler. But really it looks best if it's connecting to a connector, which is why I wanted to put a connector on my base because it looked cooler, but maybe that caused problems. <clears throat> Let's take a look at what this place looks like externally. Uh, it's so cool being able to see the caves down there. I really, I might make a scanner room down in the caves just to see what the caves look like all mapped out. But here's what that looks like now: is there's just a connecting hallway both on the first and third floors. Got that going on. The base is a bit developed. Nothing explicitly new. Just stuff moved around a little bit. It's kind of like when I was reshuffling what was in the boxes, where it's like, this takes like an hour to do, and it's just not the best video content. I will gladly spend entire episodes building stuff that we haven't built before, but not. I don't want to spend entire episodes doing logistical stuff where I rearrange things that already exists. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Do I have a new message on you? I don't remember. No? I just imagined that? Cool. Anyway, let's get to the exciting thing. Which is that we got the prawn suit here. And it's now in the upgrade thing. I get to do all sorts of things like name you, and color you, and name you. And to like really color you. It's really important that I get to color you. Yes. Yes. Oh, he's beautiful. Ooh, green's a good one. Going towards blue a little bit. Do like green. Ooh. We have a theme going on here. <laughs> Where's the stripe? Oh, there's the stripe. Yellow for the stripe? Oh, the oh, it's not saturated enough. You call that yellow? I want to point out that that's what it's on, that's that's the color it is on the actual editor, and that's what it comes out as. What in the world? How dare you, frankly. Alright, what if I just did white? Even that looks bad. Why is that the really desaturated part of the whole costume? I think the best highlight we're going to get is just making it dark, like a dark blue. Yeah. There we go really makes them easier to spot. I like the idea of giving them an appealing, eye-catching color that pops, because it, it denotes that it's a friendly thing, and I can pick it out from the... all the scary shit on the screen. <laughs> I, it, I can tell it apart. Alright, here's the big thing, is we need to look into the upgrades, and specifically, which ones can I craft? Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. And, ah, that one. The prawn suit torpedo arm. So we can't do the jump jet upgrade. Because <clears throat> we need crystalline sulfur, don't know how to make that. I mean, nickel. This is polyaniline and kyanite. And this is uh, nickel again. Okay, well that'll be, that'll be shorter. So I can make a torpedo arm via an aerogel, a lithium, and five titanium. And then maybe I can upgrade that or something when I'm done. Uh... How are we doing on rubies? We have four rubies. Do I have more aerogel? I do have more aerogel. One, two, three, four, five. And lithium. Oop. So now you can ma you have a torpedo arm. There's only one lithium, wasn't it? What? No! <gasps> look at the colors on the inside! Oh, look at the green joysticks! I didn't anticipate that part, that's fun. Zoom! There we go. Now, some people might not be big fans of the color schemes, but you know what? You, y'all fuckers don't have to cope with the phobia right now, so I don't really care what your opinion is, as it turns out. How do I put them in? Huh? 
How how I Oh what the wah that what the fuck <laughs> What That was a weird moment Okay yeah, How do I install upgrades on this thing? Do I have to use the Cyclops? The uh, I can see the upgrade spot right there. It's just it won't uh, highlight it. <laughs> it just won't. That's weird. Hi hey there, buddy. How you doing? Oh my god. Oh. I was like, we have we have we have transcended into a higher being. Exosuit upgrades. It's called Exosuit instead of Prawn. So you can only upgrade the depth module right now. I can't upgrade the uh the thing I just got. So you can't get like a better torpedo arm or any or anything like that. Hmm. Well that cuts this process rather short. Cool. Natural selection two. Alright, so you've got a, a pair of power cells. You're already fully charged because you're already plugged into this thing. The main thing is I need to name you. That's mandatory. Also, the name has to be... No! I accidentally changed the interior color. Name. Make you white. Hmm. I should have thought of this sooner. Damn it. I should have thought a name for you sooner. Why didn't I think of a name for you sooner? Hmm. Because the one thing that actually falls down for a second there, I thought gravity falls. But naming things after things I haven't actually watched is stupid. So I'm not going to do that. I already did dial it. <laughs> Caps lock. Maximum over die. No. I can't do maximum over die. Alright. Maximum over die. There we go. Because it's a badass punchy robot. So where does it fit? Where's the name go? Where does the name go? Okay, yeah, that's that's barely legible. That's that's what white looks like, apparently. Whee! <laughs> Why does that work that way? Why does that work that way? I just wanted to do it again to confirm that that's like always going to happen and not a weird glitch. Yeah, you can just fall straight through it. All right. Cool. Pachoom. So now can I install the upgrades? Now that I'm, you know, over here. Access upgrades. Equip. Torpedo arm. So I guess I can, I have to make two torpedo arms if I want to have two torpedo arms. Hey, there's asshole. Everything looks so different at night with the lights selectively lighting parts of it. Whoa! <gasps> uh. Uh. Where did that come from? Torpedo arm. It fires torpedoes. Vortex torpedo. Gravity distortion. It uses titanium and magnetite. Did I just use a titanium and a, ma and a magnetite? Uh... I didn't have a torpedo, did I? Upgrades, power cells. How do you work? Torpedo bay. Oh shit, it comes with a torpedo. It probably came with two. 
Huh. Cool. Titanium and magnetite. Okay. 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 Let's maybe make a few of those. If I'm gonna have that kind of power. I have a bunch of magnetite and titanium after all. Not the biggest ask. Do I make them here? No! Why did I click so fast? Why did I do that? I'm stupid. Uh. 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 <laughs> I like laser focused on the thing that was uh, highlightable and didn't even like think about it for that long. Ah. Uh. I didn't use up my magnetite, did I? No. That's not how it works. Uh. Lithium, go back in here. Alright, I must have to craft it right over here in the upgrade station. Nothing docked. Ooh, it makes two of them. Ooh. That was a really cool looking torpedo effect. I don't know how good it is, so I'm scared, but, you know, having a cool effect I can shoot at people makes me feel a little less scared, even though I don't actually know how strong it is. I got some water on me. Alright. I'm gonna eat, and then we're gonna... I guess we're gonna head out. Oh, it's done. Just in time. It's still... you can still hear it filling up, but I already took it. Haha. Uh -huh. So, where am I planning on gah, going? Mainly, I'm thinking, let's get involved in whatever's left of the... Get one more of those. I want to check out the remaining uh, waypoints. Not waypoints exa exclusively, but also the waypoints, I suppose. Uh, I have three pods. According to the notes I've been keeping so far, we have life pods 4, 6, 7, 17, 3, 12, 19, 13, and 2 are the ones we know about. We have visited 4, 6, 17, 3, 12, 19. So remaining pods are 7, 13, and 2. We have a signal, a waypoint for 13 and 2 which are the two most recent ones we've been told about. Uh, I do not have one for seven. But I'm thinking I should check that one out because I've been putting it off for way too long. Uh, let's see, my note says that it sunk 200 meters and it's one kilometer southwest of the Aurora. That's interesting to try to plot out from here. Uh, one thing I could do is I could just start at the Aurora and go southwest. I don't like the idea of doing that though because uh, that's it's covered in reapers seemingly in every direction, so I'd prefer not to go directly to the Aurora. So instead I want to just try to figure out what is southwest of the Aurora, basically. This is this is the southwest direction of me. So if I face southwest from my base, it's that direction. So I need to go that way of the Aurora-ish. Little hard to, to plan out. I don't know. I can go to the edge of the kelp and grassy areas, the red zones. And I can try to just see if one of them looks like an aurora. Not an aurora, like a, a life pod isn't in there or something. And if nothing else, at the very least, I know that there is a reaper at the back end of this, because I was freaking out about it when I was going around the aurora. So I can at least aim for being past that. If I can just skirt that at the very least, uh, that'd be progress. And since I'm trying to go southwest of the aurora, I could just keep going until when I turn back towards the Aurora, it now says Northeast, which would mean that I am to the Southwest. If I really want to complicate things, I can make a beacon and I can put it on the Aurora's like end over there. And then I could use that beacon as a reference point to tell me how far I am from the Aurora. And then I will know whether or not I am one kilometer Southwest of it or not. That's one thing I can do. That's not the worst plan. That gives us that gives us something more to work with because we're trying to do one of those things again where we try to find one, just out and about. That's actually a good plan, I think. Let's do that. If I can remember how to make a beacon. Did I go past it already? Have I made a mistake? I wish there was a search bar. <laughs> Once there's this many, I wish there was a search bar. Uh, I don't have the categories memorized. 
I must have gone past the two vast power cells. I need to make more of these. It's just two batter- so yeah, a bunch of copper and acid mushrooms and silicone rubber. I need to make a lot of these because clearly that's what the the Cyclops runs on and I don't want my base that I'm driving around to just literally be immobilized due to lack of power. So at some point I'm gonna make some of those. It seems easy enough, it's mostly just copper farming. Silicone rubber I believe is easy enough to make. What is it made of? It's just a seed cluster, so that's super easy. The acid mushrooms are super easy, so it's just copper. Just finding tons of copper is the primary boundary there. Good to know. I want this, but I don't know how to make a synthetic fiber yet. Hmm. Beacon. There we go. Uh, copper and titanium. Easy peasy. Okay. And I have stood long, still long enough to need more food. Eventually I might fill that room with even more water things. That's why I left a whole room for just that. Because I could, I could make a bunch of them fit in there, potentially. Maybe four or maybe seven. I don't know if you can put them adjacent to each other. But you can place them both horizontally and diagonally. As far as like which directions on the axis it goes with. They both work. Interestingly. There we go. Uh... Ooh, sea glide. Bad. Eighty-five for a scanner. Habitat builder. Oh god. Oh wait, there it is. If only there was a way to quickly swap out all your things. Okay, so the stuff I'm not currently holding on to. Laser cutter, repair. Okay, those are those are fine. I'm not super, super concerned about those. I could swap the scanner, I guess. Give it four things to, to recharge. I missed, didn't I? Or did I? Wait, what? Wait, how did I mess that up? I'm not really sure how I managed that. Uh, is everything at 100-ish now? Close enough? Sure. I'll leave that for now. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So nothing's currently in the power cell charger. Yeah. I don't have spare power cells that need charging right now. Alright. We're going on an expedition, you guys. Isn't it exciting? I'm saving. Fuchunk. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hey, uh, Bill. Did I walk all the way over here? I guess I did. Torpedo Bay. Oh, I can't even fit them all in there. But I can fit them in here. Click, click, click. I guess these shouldn't be in here, huh? What's that sound? That was a weird sound. I hope that's not taking damage down there. I'll double check in a moment. I want to get this excess out of my inventory real quick. There we go. Alright, so I've got a whole bunch of water due to my water maker. And I made my beacon. Get me up in there! It's kind of amazing how, like, clearly, artificially it moves around. There we go. I guess it wasn't that necessary to have my bottles of water, because I'm just going to take you with me. And you, uh... are powered on your own right, I suppose. I don't know. I like to take my, sub my submarine around. It's fun. And it has a, a fabricator in it. It's one of its most important details, actually. Alright, so. I believe I do not have any kind of Degassi waypoint. I mean, uh, Aurora waypoint. That's the rendezvous point, that's not the Aurora. I believe none of the game ones the game gave me are Aurora. 
And the only ones I have are Mountain Island, Cave Base Red, and HQ. Nope. Nope, pretty much just gotta wing it. Cool. We'll be fine. <clears throat> Can I put torpedoes in you? Got countermeasure times one, which is not very useful. In, in that it's only one thing. It's not amazing. Okay, so we're trying to go that way. Thankfully, I have parked far away from my base. Perhaps in part due to having learned from previous mistakes. This giant cliff over here is kind of a good amount of clearance to work with. I don't like going maximum speed because the game is straight up freaks out like, What are you doing? We're all gonna die! I'm like, alright, chill. Sorry. So we're gonna, we're gonna haul ass right over to the Aurora. Does my FOV feel weird? Stop that. We're fine, right? I hate that. I hate that the game does that. <laughs> Don't make scary sounds at me. We're clearly fine. It was probably a peeper or some shit. I don't think the light has a big impact right now. Oh yeah, I also have a bed in this thing. So if I, if I, if it, if we're close enough to the surface for me to worry about color, uh, light, then I can fix that. They were still in the familiar territory. And yep, there's the crash. I've been there before. The Aurora's looking really big. Am I imagining this or not? I feel like my FOV is really weird right now. Like I'm zoomed in too far or something. It's hard to express entirely. Let's slow down. Can't really go any further. What was that sound? Engine powering down. What was that sound? I didn't like that sound. Ooh. I gotta come... I gotta come by here when I want quartz. It's just everywhere. Engine powering down. How's my inventory looking? Eh, passable, I suppose. Let's get rid of the flashlight for my beacon. Hey, buddy. Hey, it's my cameras. My cameras and a bunch of those guys. Oh, cut it out. Hey, asshole. I believe we've learned something today. Look how much scrap mechanic... Uh, scrap mechanic... Scrap metal there is around here. If I want quartz and scrap, this is not a bad place to check for it if I ever find myself getting less around my actual home. Oh, Jesus. That's unnerving. I don't like that sight. Alright. Hey, you can still see my crane all the way out here. Neat. Uh, the dialet is way the hell out there. I'll disable that one for now. Just one less waypoint on the screen. I guess I could just plop you right here. You just live here on this uh, this sad spot. I don't. Can I name you? How do I? Beacon four. Yeah, I think in order to name you, I think I, I think you kind of need to be. Uh, uh. Do you always fall over in the same direction? Oh, there we go. There we go. The Aurora Thrusters. There we go. Easy to track. It's, it's by the thrusters. It's not quite on the thrusters. It's over here instead, but it's pretty much close enough, more or less. I believe the sun goes up on that side, so that's the sun going down. So I should go take a nap, and this shark should chill the fuck out. Jesus Christ. You want you want chill? Well, the water looks so poopy when during sunset to sun sun 
uh, down, I guess. Sunset, yeah. Going for it. Zoom. You can't get me. I have a ship. There we go. God damn, he can get into this thing fast. Yeah, it's, it's getting poopy outside. I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> 